Well, welcome to Cord Art. Um, today, I'd like to try and make one of these, the light's not very good here, uh, one of these hanging Father Christmases, yeah? Hopefully I can just get it in light. Now you can have a pink nose or a red nose, it doesn't really matter. Um, what do we need to make this? Well, obviously the component parts are like so. I mean, we've got a angel's wing for a hat, so we need to make one of these. Uh, we've got a bit of cobra that goes along the top, so we need to make a piece of that. We need a stopper knot on top of his hat, like so. And we need a stopper knot for pink nose. Um, other things that we need to make are the whiskers. I've made some whiskers because I will show you how to do all this, but um, I'm in the process of making three of these. So I've got all the, all the component parts at the moment. So how do we go about making those? Um, tools we need are hot glue gun, lighter, spotter super glue, sharp scissors, and two of these little pets comb and brush. They're both, that's wire. And that's quite a stout comb, yeah? Need that to actually brush out the whiskers. Um, put those to one side for the moment. Cord parts, well, you need a hank of red, red cord. Um, I won't give you a measurement for that because that'll be explain explained what, as I go along. We don't actually use a measurement. We actually take from the reel of cord. Um, saves wastage. Um, we're gonna need a 30 piece, 30 inch piece of white cord and a six inch piece of white cord. That's gonna make our Cobra. We need a 15 inch piece of white cord and a 15 inch piece of pink cord. They're gonna make our stopper knots, one for the top of the hat and one for the, um, I just lost a piece of cotton and one for the nose. Yeah, and then the actual um, beard is going to be these four pieces of three inch cord. Now they can be paracord, but I chose to use something that's a lot easier to comb out. And I'm just looking around for the label actually, but um, well, I just have to show you what I've got. This is a uh, four millimeter. Um, braided nylon which I got from the DIY and it works out really quite well in making these sorts of things. I like using this because one it's cheap and um, two it hasn't got a, a core it's just down to the strength of the braid. Um, so I've got four three inch pieces of this. I did have the label of the, this stuff but I can't find it at the moment. So let's make a start on this. Where shall we start? Um, let's make his nose. His nose is easy. The 15 inch piece of pink, loop it over on the center finger to a stop knot. So that's round the thumb, twist it, and on the vertical. Bring the vertical around the back of this one, through that loop, so that we've got a diamond knot there, yeah? So now we have a diamond knot. We're gonna take this end around the base, this base bit down the bottom here, and up through the diamond, like so. And then this one will go, this one here will go around that end and up through the center. Pull it nice, and loose. It doesn't have to be a tight knot this one because it's it's his nose. Give it a little bit of a twirl so it sort of evens itself out a bit. Like so. And we've got the beginnings of a nose. Yeah. Bit of slack there. Pull that through. Like 
like so and out it comes right now we want to get rid of the loop um, believe it might be this one bring the loop down through the knot and you don't want to pull this loop too hard just so it goes to the end of the knot and then take the slack through like so and then there's our nose No need to singe that over because it's going to have glue on it. We'll put that to one side for the moment. Ditch the rubbish. Let's do another stopper knot. This one's going to be for... Um, right, there's my piece of cotton that I've lost. Bit of one mil, yeah. So what we're going to do with this one, this is for the top of the hat. Again, through the centre, round the centre finger. Bottom one, bring it up around your thumb twist it round and like so yeah like so bring that vertical up a little bit so you've got a loop bring this round the back through and then that will make a diamond knot like so there's the diamond yeah Bring this one around this base here, up through. This one around this side of the base. Come on, like so. Squeeze it. Now, before we go too far with this one, we want to make sure that we insert the red cotton. So there's the loop. I've just passed my scissors up through the centre of that knot just to make a, a bit bigger hole than what there was there already. Double that cotton over or the, the one mil cord over and hopefully we can push it up through like so. So that's in the middle of there now. We can then carry on and tighten our knot up. that that's good now we're going to tighten well, now we're going to get rid of this white loop at the, the top of the knot um, believe it's possibly that one yep so we can pull that loop down through up the slack and then there's our pom-pom just have to decide how long you want the loop now I'm gonna have it a bit longer than that so that's about the size I'm going to have it, like so. And I'm just going to snip off those two bottom bits over the bin. And this is the only touch of super glue I, put, I just put a bit on that um, red cord at the base there. So that's the super glue done with. And then the two bits coming off of here, I cut it with about a quarter of an inch hanging you know still left on there because I need something to glue to the hat so if I get rid of those two bits now if I heat up that just gives me a little edge there to glue onto the hat when we get to the gluing up stage 
So that's two stopper knots. Um, let's do the Cobra. Now, this six inch piece of white cord has been melted there, so it's quite hard. We're gonna just do a quick Cobra along that. So we loop it over, to the, over the actual six inch piece. Keep a loop, loop on that side. Yeah, bring this over. Round the back and up through. And we've got our first cobra not just there, yeah? We then pull that hard bit down to the knot, just like so, tightening it up. Now, I think it's about seven or eight cobras we need down this piece. Um, so I'll just show you the next bit. Because the um, little loop is on this right hand side here, we'll take this one over the top of the core, this one over the top of that, round the back, and a cobra. And as I say, we need to do about seven knots, um, but we'll measure it up on, onto the, uh, the hat. Mind you, the hat's not made yet, so I'll use one of the ones that I have made to make sure we get that we don't make it too long. Keep expecting the phone to ring. My missus to say it's dinner time. You have to bear with me if it is. I had two or three people online ask me if I would show how to make these. Well, I hadn't made them until today, really. Um, I'd seen some pictures and I guessed basically how that I would make them. So this isn't from another tu tutorial. This is how I go about making this Father Christmas. Although it's not my idea. That might be long enough. Let's have a look. I think one more knot. So that's the tr trim over the top of the hat. Cut that one off. That one. And that one. Not that one. That one. And that one, and we might as well melt the centre. A bit more heat on that one. Yep. So that's going to be his hat. Right. What should we go to next? Um, yeah. Let's uh, make some whiskers. Now. If you I chose this cord because, as I said, it's easier to comb out. Um, I have combed out um, 550, gutted 550 many times for making different projects, but I found that this is by, you know, so easy. Saying that, I'll probably mess it up now. But if you just tease it out with the comb, but you do need to get right to the top. Now, I often neglect to say, this end is well melted because you don't want to be pulling the cords right the way through. This will be my 14th one of these that I've made and only one of them, the cords got 
pulled out as I, as I was sort of um, combing them out. So I tend to comb both sides and get my little brush. Give it a good singing too. desirable to get it right up to the end near your finger because if you have well when you stick the nose on you don't really want gaps of daylight be up around the side of the nose so there's one uh yep yeah, this one and that one out ones I make on, uh, on tutorials don't usually come out quite as good because I'm conscious about filming. Um, they come out all right, but then I'm not paying as much attention as what I would normally do having the camera on me. But you have to start somewhere. Whoops, don't go over frivolous. It knots in it, you, you have to start unraveling it. I think we're okay with that one. See, I've got a bit come out there where it's not been melted over properly. I'll probably get away with that. I hope so. with just a pin uh, when I was making like mermaids tails and unicorns uh, tails and what have you. It used to take ages and ages and ages and I thought there must be a better way to actually brush out this stuff. And this is what I've come up with so far. A lot easier. one more component part to make and that's the angel's wing. Now I've made so many of them I don't find it difficult at all. Um, I have done a tutorial but it was some years ago and I think it could have been better. I've, I've learned a few tricks on how to make the angel's wing. Right so that's four of those. Hopefully we won't need five, shouldn't do. Right, the angel's wing. The reason that I, said I didn't give um, a dimension or a length of cord is because if I said you need 16 feet, you would actually only use about three feet of that and you'd end up with a big piece of cord left over. Um, so I tend to take it up from the ball of string and then that leftover stuff stays onto the hank of cord. Let's hope I've got enough there now. Now I want to make sure that I'm well in in shot with this one. So I've melted this end over, I'll give it a little bit more and all we're going to do, oh am I in shot? No not quite. That, does that look good? Yeah. Right, so we've got the cord pointing to the right. I've got the loop 
coming over the top like that and I've got my fingers caught on those two. I'm going to bring up this cord and just bring it over the, there like so. Yeah. And as I said at the beginning of this uh, tutorial, we need seven of these loops. So here's the second one. That's the first one. Here comes the second one. So I've gone up and round and over then under and over, yeah, like so. And then we've gone, we're, we're over the top with this one now, so it goes round and under. Come on, Michael, fingers and thumbs. I'm caught on a blimmin' waist bin now. Hang on. Just... It's a bamboo one as well, so it likes to attack things. Um, bamboo bin, that is. So we've now gone to three around the base, yeah? We're underneath now, so we're going to come up through the centre again. Make sure that I'm on, on picture. Just under and over and under and over. And under and over. Like so. So now we have one, two, three, four. This would be the fifth. Sixth, so all we're doing is keeping in the center under, over, under, over. Once you've done a few of these, you realize that there's a right hand side and a left hand side, and how can I say? you know where the cord's got to be pulled when you're tightening up. So we're six at the moment. One, two, three, four, five, six. We want seven. So we just part those. Make sure we don't go up go off the end here. I'm going to take it up for a seventh time. Now if I'd have given you a dimension of a piece of cord, when we get to the top, we would have been, say, say I said, give you 15 feet, which it's not. We would then be tightening it all up. And as I say, you'd be wasting quite a bit of cord. Right, so there we are. Seven bites along the bottom. Don't worry about this cord for the moment. Normally it wouldn't be there. But all I'm going to do now is tighten up that to a degree. Back in shot. Yeah, I'm going to tighten up this, this one that comes round here. I'm going to tighten up. I'm then going to pull on that one, which is this one here. The one that goes right the way around. We're going to pull on that one and then... Um, make sure we got the right one. Tighten down onto the base like so. Give it a good old tug and then things will start to keep in line. Bring that one across. Tightening as we go. Then that one will come down like so. Now what we're actually going to be doing is working our way in with these tightenings. We're right out on the extremity here, on this corner. So we'll give it a good old tighten down. This one then comes back across the knot.
like so. Now we're the second one in, so you can see we'll be the second one in on that side in a minute. We're on the second one in on that side. So the art of this knot is not to get too much um, kinking in the in the cord. Excuse me. Just work all the slack out. Now this is the left hand side, it's usually this side, left hand side. I know that they tighten up from pulling at the bottom. Now we've got a twist there, don't really want any twists. So we'll give that a bit of a, oops, that's not the one, that's the one. Second one in on that side, put it down tight, take the slack across the knot, like so, and then we're going to bring the slack down through here. Right hand side, they pull on the top, left hand side, they pull underneath. Now we're going to go through this twice. So, to get the desired effect, so we don't have to over tighten it in this first go through. Then we're going to bring it across the knot again, all the slack. Bring it down like so, just a little tug. I like to keep my finger on that bit then, just about there. Now this one is going to be pulling out through this one, but because we're on the left hand side, it's going to be pulling up from the bottom. I don't know if I'm making myself clear, because it's obviously on the right now, but it is the left hand part of the, the knot. Now, this is a, an important piece here. There's the middle loop. We're going to fold that down like so, so that we can work on this second to top loop. Now, the reason that we do that is that we don't want to lose everything. So we bring that one up through like so. And then this one will come down like that. The, 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 the top loop will stay in its place then you see as we come down to that we'll bring that top loop up like so starting to get to the shape now now we've got to think about this again um, yeah let's think about this um, so yeah we're gonna Bring that top loop right the way, get rid of all this slack down the bottom, like so. Right, now, now that we've tightened it more or less to where we want it, all this cable, all this cord is still on the ball of string. So what I can do now is just cut that one and get rid of it. Okay, we've got a bit of a gap there, but that doesn't really matter because we're going to pull across again now. Yeah. And then we're just going to tighten from that point there right the way through again.
once you've made a couple of dozen of these, it becomes obvious what you've got to do next. But when I started off, I was making all sorts of mistakes and going back on myself and getting in a, a right fix. But once you've got it in your head how they actually work, quite straightforward. Nice and tight on that base one. Through the knot again. Bringing it down. Again, this is in danger of coming away, so we're going to keep that bent down whilst we manoeuvre around it. Nearly finished this one. And just trim off the top. the side bit of heat start to shake now like so right here's when the hot glue gun comes into action what we want to do is put four drops of glue I'm going to, only going to do one at a time because the glue will go off too quick. But one just inside, one just inside, and then two like so. And we're going to, um, oh, that's not it, put our four bits of beard on there. That looks a bit scruffy there. Let's just melt that over a bit more. That'll do. Right. Now I actually angle, how can I explain this, if I get hold of one of them before I put any glue on, rather than come straight down, I angle it in slightly on that one, angle it in slightly on that one, yeah? It covers better. I think you'd probably have to use five if you didn't do that. So that one's going to come in just like so be 
piece can come in at a slight angle into the centre. And then the other two can go straight down. Slightly in maybe. Like so. Yep. Then we want to look at uh, the triangle. Well, we've got the bit showing that wants to be to the back. Now this is the back of the project. So we're going to be sticking it onto there. Bit of hot glue along the top of the code, but well, not right on top, but close to the top. So that is the behind. You're looking at the behind of it here. That was a bit hot. Then we're going to give a little bit of glue on the top there. And then a stopper knot with the one mil in it and the little tail on the end. The little tail is going to go onto that glue like so. Then all we've got, turn it round to the front, make sure it looks nice. All we've got to do now is stick the nose on. We'll give it a good old dollop of hot glue. Stick it just where we want it, like so. And hey presto, he doesn't look bad now. Might have to just trim his whiskers a little bit. They look a bit wayward on this side. So we're just probably uh, just a, a bit of a haircut, like so. And there he is. I know that the lighting's not very good in here, so. But that's how we make him. Um, I'll be making some other projects shortly. I fancy making um, some more angels' wings, but this time they're going to go on to an angel. So that should be interesting. Still got the ideas in my head. I'm going to carry on now and glue up my last one. Um, and thanks for watching from uh, Cord Art and the group that I sponsor and run. Uh, is power cord off come and join us on power cord off now and again see you later bye